How do you do? I'm Michael E. Clay with the World Hunting Club, and today is going to be a lot of fun. We're doing ballistics testing with the Aerolite from Powerbelt. Now, this video is in response to a comment posted by one of our good friends, Frontier Muzzleloader. Hey, by the way, if you get a moment, go check out his website at FrontierMuzzleLoading.com. He's got a lot of good information over there. With that said, the penetration factor of the Aerolite is in question. Let's see how it does. Here we have the 300 grain Aerolite from Powerbelt. Within five inches, we see expansion. Within 11 inches, we have complete expansion, over five inches in diameter overall. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. The maximum wound damage occurs at about 11 in inches after penetration, as shown here. Notice you just have penetration, penetration, and then it starts to tumble inside the tissue, 
And the depth inside, it's going to be easier done with this. With a depth of about one and a half inches, so that's about three inches overall if you were to measure its counterpart over here. So the proof is in the pudding. The Aerolite from Powerbelt is a rapid expanding bullet. The wound cavity that this creates within five inches is profound, whereas the hollow point from Powerbelt was an even penetration all the way through. It expanded to about two inches. Both bullets did penetrate completely. However, this is going to have rapid knockdown, and if you're looking for a blood trail, go with a red tip. I'm Michael Clay with the World Hunting Club. I want to thank Frontier Muzzleloader for bringing this to our attention, and we hope that you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it.